Do you want to see a flag like this up in one of the classrooms of your school? Some ideas from a weird math teacher on today's ThinkShare. Hello humans, welcome to the ThinkShare. My name is Zach, I'm here to bring to what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to, reading about that doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Recently on the other channel that I have, Zachary Watson, I have a video that says why I have a pride flag in my classroom. And it just hit 10,000 views. I wanted to address one of the things that I keep seeing pop up in the comments. Seeing people saying, I wish this exists in my school. I wanted to give some ideas specifically for students that want to see flags like this or stickers, the safe space stickers like this right here in their classrooms. So first, I wanted to start out with, there's two things I'm gonna talk about. One is items. There's a couple different things you can put in your classroom. And the second main battle that a lot of students are gonna have is sort of tactics for addressing the issue. So a lot of the students that want to have these things in their school and probably don't, are probably less accepting communities. In this school, I walked around and I would say out of like the 30 classrooms, more than 25 of them had at least little safe space stickers in the corner. One of the challenges for some people, you know, in different parts of the country or different parts of the world is there aren't a ton of flags out there. There aren't a bunch of stickers already out there. So it might be hard being the first one. I was one of the first people at my previous school to actually have a flag. It takes something for a teacher to be the first one. It takes something for any human to step outside their comfort zone and do something for the first time in their community. So I wanna start out with items. There's a few main items that I'm thinking of. First is the sticker. This is one of the main stickers. Here are a couple of different versions. This is a really easy way for teachers to sort of get involved without sort of making a big statement. I could imagine a lot of teachers maybe feeling uncomfortable with having something that big. You wanna give them the opportunity to have something small that you know the, the students that it makes a difference for, they can see it, they know where it is, and at the same time, it's not one of the most obvious features of the classroom. The sticker is a great way to get a lot of people on board with an idea, and it makes a big difference for a lot of different people, especially in lesser accepting areas where it's just not commonplace. Second one is having a flag about this size. It sits in a coffee mug right next to my computer. It's really simple, it's small, it's not intrusive, it doesn't take up a lot of space, noticeable. I remember one of my friends saying, I was asking, you know, what can I do to make a difference for my students part of the LGBTQA community? And he said, you know, just have any kind of flag in the room. He said, you know, it doesn't really matter. And he brought up the stickers as well, but he said something like this can also make a difference. You could probably buy these for like a dollar, maybe even 50 cents online. Another idea is having posters of affluent gay people. So one of the ones that I've been wanting to make, and I just haven't found the quote that I love enough for it, is I wanted to make an Ellen poster saying something inspirational about success or about getting through hard times. When I was talking to my friend back when he, in the 80s when he was in high school, there weren't any people he knew of in, on TV or in the news that were openly gay. One of the great things of our generation is we have all these people to look up to. Offering to have a poster to your teachers and maybe even an inspirational quote or something, having something like that in your classroom, and if any of my students are watching this, I would love to have some sort of poster of Ellen with some sort of inspirational quote on it. You don't necessarily want the quote to be specifically about gay rights or equality or anything. Have it be about success. I imagine there's some people probably criticizing you right now. They have, they, they don't get to criticize that at all because it's about school, it's about academics, it's about success. Other ideas for people, the Wachowskis, who are the directors of The Matrix. The Wachowskis also made Sense8 on Netflix, which is really great. Kate McKinnon from SNL. A lesser known one, but a really great historical figure is Alan Turing. He was played by Benedict Cumberbatch in the imitation game. They were trying to crack the German codes of their communications, and he was able to figure out the code and really end the war a lot earlier than it might have otherwise. Next, here's some tactic. For a lot of students out there that I know are interested in having their teachers, the, the people that were commenting on my previous video, I think that it could make a major difference if you really think about your strategy so that one, if you are someone that could get hurt by a teacher declining to have something up in the room, you don't get hurt. So the obvious way is you could go straight up to some teacher and say, hey, would you put up a full-size flag? Would you put up small plague? Would you put up a sticker? One thing I would recommend along with that is offer it to them. Have the item with you 
and offer it to them. I think a major difference between a teacher having something and not having something is extra work. To be honest, I don't know if, I'm assuming I'm not the only one, but as a teacher, I can get lazy sometimes when it comes to a little extracurricular thing. And if making a difference for the LGBTQA community is not at the top of my priorities list, I'm probably not gonna go online to order something. But if you hand me something, there's a very good chance I'll put it up. One recommendation I would say is do some of the legwork for your teacher. They're busy, they got lives, they got stuff to do. If you just give it to them, and you even put it up for them, or if you put it, I would be even so bold as to say, if you bought, say, one of these, and you said, hey, Mr. Watson, would you put this up in your classroom? In fact, Mr. Watson, you can put it right here, and you just put it straight in my mug, I'm probably just gonna leave it there. I bet a lot of teachers are probably similar in that if you put it there, there's less of a chance that we'll move it than if you were to hand it to us that we'll find a place to put it. So that's one main idea is you wanna have the item, the thing there for them and hand it over to them and or give them a place to put it. If it's a poster, say, hey, can we put it up on this wall over here? So if you were putting it up on the wall for them, that, that could be half the battle. I mean, some of the posters around here, that is half of my battle is trying to find a place, getting the putty, like standing up on the chair, doing it and keeping it up there. Sometimes I gotta tape it a second time. Some other ideas. If you have some friends that you know might also benefit from it or they really stand with you, go with a couple friends. I know that if I'm approached by two or three or four students and I'm asked to do something and I can tell they're all behind it, I bet you I'm much more likely to do it. I think they're more likely to say no if it's just one person, but if they're letting down a small group of people, I think they might have to think a little harder about that. Another thing is perception. A lot of teachers are probably thinking to themselves, do I want to do something? Will it make others angry? Am I the only one doing it? When I was the first person to put up a flag in my last school, it took some thinking, it took a little bit of mental courage to have that. If, however, I had the perception, even if it wasn't reality, that other teachers were doing the same thing, I don't think I would have had to do nearly as much mental work to make it happen. One of the things you could do is, as you're offering the flag or the sticker saying, hey, we're coming around to a bunch of the different teachers, we have some of these, would you like to have one? And if you phrase it that way, I bet a lot of teachers would have the experience. They're one, not the only teacher. They have a bit more freedom to say yes or no because they're not, it's not personal. And if they're going around to a bunch of other people, that teacher is more likely to hear of other teachers saying yes. So it's a bit more of a win-win. If you are so nervous that you don't even wanna come up to them straight in person, and you would much rather find some anonymous way to do it. Here's probably what I would do. Write some kind of note, leave it on a desk or chair. Maybe you could leave it with a sticker or with a flag or something. Hey, I would really love it if you could put this up in your classroom. If you have some reasoning behind it, maybe there are some bullies or something that this would help fend off a little bit. It would make the teacher a bit more mindful of it. If you wanna stay anonymous, that's another option as well. Uh, I don't think it's as powerful. I don't think you would have necessarily as much success, but at the same time, I think that would communicate to a teacher that this person feels fairly uncomfortable and that's why they're trying to stay anonymous. Some other things you could do to sort of test the waters is try bringing up someone like Ellen into a conversation and look to see what the reaction is. You know, I think you would probably feel much more comfortable asking them. So I hope some of these ideas have really given you some inspiration. If you're someone watching this video and you're really looking at how to get this done in your classroom or your school, I hope this has made a difference. Let me know in the comments how your results are. And lastly, if none of this has been quite enough to push you into action, because you're thinking about taking action, consider if this would make a difference for you, you're probably less likely to do it. But if you know that this would make a huge difference for one or two of your classmates that you know it would make a difference for them, maybe consider doing it just for them and think of it as a selfless act of kindness. I think that that is something that can often inspire people and I invite you to take advantage of that to cause something awesome to happen in your community. Again, let me know what some of your results are in the comments. Let me know what other video ideas you'd like to see in the comments. That's all for today. In the comments again, let me know what are some of your results in taking some of these actions. What are some of the things that have come up from these conversations? What other videos would you like me to talk about? What are the things as a teacher that has something like this in my classroom? What would you like me to talk about? I'd love to know and I'd love to make a difference in your school, in your community, in your life. If you like this and you want more content like this, I invite you to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications every day I come up with something new. Thank you for watching and stay weird humans. Yeet!